Joe, you're still in bed. It's three o'clock. The sun's shining. Yes. After the bride, the sun shines on. Ah, in the court, the rain rains on. Where are you going, anyway? I've come to get the things. I'm going to get married. Really? You're not getting married at a church, are you? Well, are you coming to throw bricks at us? Of course I'm not. Hey, Joe. Joe. How do you like this? Bet somebody's missing their cat. It's a present from that young man of mine. <coughs> oh, you would catch cold, wouldn't you? Use your anky. I've got one. Well, use mine, then. Here, what's the matter with you? What are you trying to hide? Nothing. Come here, let's have a look. Let go, you're at me! What's this? A ring. I can see it's a ring. Who's given it you? The man I'm going to bury. Silly little bitch. You mean that sailor lad you've been knocking about with? Has he really asked you to marry him? Yes. But as good as married. You know where this belongs? In the ash can with everything else. I could kill you, I could really. You've already had a damn good try. Oh, Joe, why can't you learn from my mistakes? It takes half your lifetime to learn from your own. Oh, what a thing to happen. As soon as my back's turned, you'll be off of that sailor lad and ruin yourself. Don't worry, Ellen. I've gone away. Probably never see you again for months. Oh, Joe, love. You're only young. Why don't you enjoy your life? Don't get trapped. Marriage can be murder for a kid. Oh, give me your lucky back. Where's your husband? He's outside waiting for me. Oh, I say, look at that. Every line tells a dirty story. Ellen? Yeah? What was my father like? Oh? My father? Oh, him. Um, was he so horrible he can't even tell me about him? No, he wasn't horrible. He was just a bit simple, that's all. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. You're a liar. Am I? No. So now you know. Was he a real idiot? No, he wasn't daft. He was... I don't know. He got funny eyes. You got them. I've no time to waste here. Where is he now? Locked up? Of course not. He's dead. Why? Why? Don't ask me why. Death comes to us all sooner or later. I must go. Madness is hereditary, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake, Joe. Decide for yourself whether you're mad or not. I should not be mad, and neither was he. You said he was an half-wit. How could you go with an half-wit? I don't know. Everybody used to laugh at him, but, you know, I thought he was rather nice. Tell me. I want to understand. Look, Joe. For one night... Well, actually, it was the afternoon. I loved him. I've never really been with a man before. It was the first time. You can remember the second, and the third, and the fourth time. But there's no time like the first. It's always there. It's no good, love. I've got to go. Peter's going to kill me. Aren't you sorry to see me go? I'm sorry and I'm not glad. I'm not going to wait for you to come back. Oh. Suit yourself, then. I think I'll take some of that cold.
look, Ellen. Well, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? It seems ages since you kissed me. Save it for him. You will be all right, love, won't you? Of course I'll be all right. I got a job starting on Monday in a shoe shop. Yes, well, I'll see you when the honeymoon's over. Ta-ra, love. Ta-ra. Well, perhaps we can order something for you. No, thank you. Now I've got to send to. They've got more fashions there. Oh, you've got to get used to all sorts, love. When you've been here a week or two, her sort won't bother you at all. She made me get all the stock out. I've made one sale yet. Well, give yourself time. Oh, Joe, I've got to go out. Lock up for me, will you? Yes, but if you don't mind, I'll make it six on the dot. I'm going to see some rooms I'm thinking of moving into. I fancy a change. Oh, well, good night. Night. Can I help you? Yes, I want a pair of shoes. What sort of shoes? Well, have you got any of them Italian... Casuals? Yeah. What size? Eight. Right. Any particular colour? No. Eight, nothing too startling. Mm, these are nice. All right. Can I try them? Fit all right. Yeah, they're very comfortable. Are they very expensive? Not really. They're in the sale. Eighteen bob. Oh. They're not bad, are they? I think they look very smart. They really cost 24 and 11, so you got a real bargain. Well, I'll have them. Hey, you needn't bother to wrap them. They'll go in there. I think you'll find them very nice for the summer. Oh, if we have any. Right. Two bob chains, just right. Thank you. Tra. Tra. Won't it be too big for you? No, this is just nice. I've always wanted a place of my own. Thirty bob a week, is it? That's it. Collect on Fridays, I suppose. Aye, payday. I'm in there while they've still got it. I can give it in advance. Oh, ta, love. Thirty bob. You move in whenever you like. Thank <laughs> you. 
wants to stay in your way. You enjoying it? Yeah, I always do. So do I. Hey, them shoes you sold me are ever so double. Yes, they look very smart. Are you by yourself? Yes. Yeah. Would you like to go to the fair? Oh, I'd love to. Would you? Oh, come on. To a fair since Christmas. Thanks, Jeff. I loved it. Good night. Good night. to go to. Well, of course I have. And what are you looking about for down there? Come on in if you're coming. No, don't you dare put that light on. Hey, this place is enormous, isn't it? I know. I've got to work hard all week to pay for it. It's the only place I've ever had that's all mine and nobody else's. It's a bit big for one, though, isn't it, Joe? Why? Thinking of moving in? No, oh, not likely. Haven't you got a home to go to? No, my landlady threw me out. Why? It's mind your own business. You can stay if you tell me. Well, I was behind with the rent. That's a lie for a start. No, it's not. Oh, come on, Jeffrey. Let's have a bit of life on the subject. Who did she find you with? Your girlfriend? Of course not. It wasn't a man, was it? Look.